Yo. Hi, um, if you're new here, hello, I'm Jess and welcome back to my channel. I've seen that I have a bunch of new subscribers, so thank you so much for subscribing. We are nearly at a thousand, um, so if you want, please hit the subscribe button and help me get to a thousand. Yeah, but let's get onto this video. So just a little update. So <laughs> this week I was like getting ready to do a vlog, like back in the studio vibes. My original plan was to film another video for audition season, which is coming up really fast, like really soon, um, for overseas. So I was like, okay, I need to get back in the studio this week. I need to grind it out, you know, like get back. Um, here, like everywhere else is suffering a lot with the virus and, um, especially in the last couple of weeks, it's kind of just exploded. So, so basically scrap all the plans I had for this week, um, because someone in my family got COVID. So it, it means that we're locked down for a week too and yes yeah, so but that but also at the same time a lot of my classes some half of my classes have been put online for next week anyway it's just so crazy because it felt like everything was going back to normal slowly you know 2022 i was so excited for this year and i still am so i'm not letting me being in isolation again um or anything stop me from still getting prepared for audition season i'm just gonna have to do it a little bit differently so yesterday i ordered um some like vi some tar care floor because just none of my surfaces at home are that great for dancing i ordered some of that that should be coming soon hopefully sooner than later just trying to stay uh I've been trying to do as much Pilates as I can, yoga, I've been doing yoga every day, just because, just 15 minutes when I wake up in the morning, I've been telling myself, before you're allowed to have coffee, you have to do yoga, because it's just really good for flexibility and strength. So then I have my coffee and I get ready and organized. But yeah, I've been pushing myself to do that this, to do that in this new year. And I'm not sure if it's been helping, but it really helps my mindset just to have as a goal. Also, been trying to do a ballet bar and just stay on top of my mindset and know that it's going to be fine it's only a week it's only a week and it's not a big deal and i understand that sometimes people might, might not understand but um as a dancer a week can be a week is a long time especially when i'm aiming to be in peak condition in a couple of weeks to film so one week when I can't be in the actual studio turning and doing things is scary. But I'm not letting myself get scared because ultimately that's not going to help the situation. So I'm just aiming to just do as much as I can basically. So like this morning I woke up and I wasn't feeling as motivated. So I still got up to my yoga. I did a quick Pilates workout. Um, and then I kind of got stuck for a while. I had some admin things I had to do. I felt just a bit, you know, when like 11 o'clock hits and you haven't quite done all that you did. Cause yesterday I really like, yesterday I really nailed through everything that I had to do. I had done like most of my ballet stuff pretty early. So I felt really on top of it. And I got a lot of things done. So then today I felt a little bit drained. I might've even overdone it yesterday. I'm not sure. It's just then, it's really hard to just like know how much to do when you're at home <laughs> when it comes to dance training it's just it's impossible because you just don't know is it too much is it too little and you're always trying to compensate for just not being in the studio i'm just editing this now and what i meant to say was that um although i woke up liking motivation and stuff i think that if you let that kind of dictate your day it won't help um, and each day is going to look different like some days you're going to have motivation some days you're not but If you want to achieve certain goals, you kind of have to push through that motivation That was kind of the point that I was meaning to make. I just didn't quite make it there um, Yeah, but also if there is a day where you just can't seem to do anything, it's okay There's always tomorrow, but every day is not going to look the same 
um, and if things are really important to you, then um, the biggest self growth sometimes is pushing through those barriers that seem a lot more in our minds than they actually are. That's all I have to say. So to all the dancers out there who are isolating or can't perform or kind of their shows, like I feel your pain, I'm with you, we can do this. I've also been looking at all the audition notices that are up at the moment, writing lists about what's due when. So my advice would be if you're doing auditions or even if you're doing audition tours where they come through your state, I know they do that in America, get really organized now if you haven't already because they're gonna come up really fast. You might miss a deadline. Just make sure you have like a spreadsheet or a Word document or something where you have all the dates, all the requirements and just get organized. Get on top of your CV. I'm going to probably do a photo shoot soon just so I can get some new headshots done, everything. So I feel like I'm really on top of everything. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm really trying to be positive. I've been listening to lots of videos. Like I think I told you last time about the mind the power of the mind and if you really want it and you just keep fighting for it you you'll be able to achieve it so i think at the new in the new year there's a lot of pressure for everything to just be perfect all of a sudden because you made some new year's resolutions or you're doing some new thing or like something but you know this is reality things don't always go the way you planned i planned this week to be you know how it was meant to be training every day going around going to work doing all these things and then it ended up like this and same as everyone people uh, a lot of people in similar situations and it hurts a little bit more because it's the start of the year and because you know there's that whole thing around the new year where it just needs to be like new exciting funky fresh um kicking goals and everything but like i'm also seeing this as an opportunity for me to get really really clear on my goals if you can get them as clear as you can, then they're more likely to be very vivid in your mind. And the more you can visualize and see those things happen, the more it's gonna happen and you're gonna attract it, etc. So yeah, this um, time I'm going to just do my best, to do my best, stay in the moment, take it hour by hour. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button and comment below how you're going are you sick is your family sick how are you guys all dealing with um this year what are you, some of your goals for this year what are some of the things you're doing um how was your new year's like let me know chat with me and i will see you next time